Hi, I'm Tom from the Burt Scanner development team. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about nested insertion points. So when a request is sent to Burp Scanner, either from the crawl or from another tool, Burp Scanner can automatically locate all of the insertion points within that request, which is where it wants to send its payloads. Some insertion point types are fairly self-explanatory, things like cookie values, URL parameter values, the entire body. However, nested insertion points takes a little bit more explaining. So what a nested insertion point is, is when Burp Scanner has found somewhere it wants to send a payload, that is within multiple layers of encoding or data types. Now let's jump into Burp and I can show an example of this. So if we have a look here, we've got an example of SQL injection found on Portswigger's vulnerable web app, Gin and Juice Shop. As we can see from the issue description, it's telling us that there is a JSON value parameter which is also base64 encoded and it's within a tracking ID cookie, which is here. So this is an example of a nested insertion point. There are multiple layers of data types and encoding that have to be unraveled and kind of re-raveled, I guess, to send a payload correctly. We can use Inspector to see this. If we open up the cookies, we can see the tracking ID cookie here. An Inspector will show us that we can undo the URL encoding and then undo the base64 encoding and see that, yeah, there is a piece of JSON here. And if we look here, we can see that we sent our single quote payload. There's another example in the second request. Again, opening up the cookies, opening up the tracking ID. We've got the value here, decode it from base64. And here we've got two quotes. So a pretty standard SQL injection attack. And this is pretty much it. What Burp Scanner has identified the payload it wants to send. It's identified where it wants to send it inside multiple layered encoding and data types and made sure to do all those data types and encoding back up before it sends a request so everything's neat and how it, how it found it effectively. We're currently exploring ways to better visualize insertion points in the scanner, particularly those that we scanned but didn't necessarily find anything for, as these aren't currently visible. So keep an eye out for that soon. <laughs>